Ohio State has no game this week, but we are still back at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center talking to Buckeye coaches Ryan Day, Jim Knowles, Larry Johnson, Justin Fry. And a big topic of conversation with uh, those first two guys was the cornerback situation. Nathan Bayer from Cleveland.com along with Doug Lamarise and Stephen Means. This is a week where those guys, Denzel Burke, Cam Brown, guys who have been a little bit maligned through the first six games, can get a break. But it's also a week where they can put in a lot of work. Steven, do you think this is a week where Ohio State can more or less fix the cornerback situation for the second half of this season? I think so. One, because they can put in a little bit extra work because they're not preparing for a game, so they can maybe go a little bit harder in practice this week. But more importantly, I think everybody can just press the reset button, whether it's getting Jordan Hancock healthy and get him back into the rhythm of things, or it's just Denzel Burke and Cameron Brown not having to worry about you convert, having a pass interference call or giving up a big play on Saturday. The cornerback's the hardest position to play in sports, maybe. So sometimes you do just need a mental break from it, and they're getting that opportunity to get that this week because on Saturday they're going to be sitting at home, relaxing with their families instead of getting ready to play a football game. Yeah, I'm sure Ohio State's doing some things to prepare for Iowa. They know who their next opponent is, obviously. But I think this is also a week of practice where you can get specialized in certain things. And Ryan Day said as much when I asked him, what do you do with the corners this week? And they said, you can – the thing that they've been failing at, frankly, you know, making plays on the ball is something you can just go through and rep over and over and over again this week without grinding them down. But, but give them as many reps at that one look as you can get and just help them work through it. Uh, I think there is also a break here that helps. But the other thing that really hit our ears was Ryan Day talking about Jordan Hancock. And they've said all along that he was supposed to have a big role this year. But he used a very specific term today, and it gives you some insight into if he's healthy, what he could be over these final six games. Yeah, it was the first time Ryan Day said he was going to compete for a starting spot because they had Denzel Burke and Cam Brown coming back as veterans. So we knew Jordan Hancock was third. But I don't know that we knew they thought that. So now we've never, we haven't seen a healthy Jordan Han Hancock this year. So when he is healthy, if and when he is healthy, he should be competing for a starting spot. So what does that mean? I think, you know, maybe Burke or Brown could feel that competition. But I do think it, it is two very specific things. I mean, you know, everybody gets a bye week, mental break. I, I guess it matters. If Hancock can play, if and when he can play, and it doesn't sound like it's maybe this week, against or the next game against Iowa game changer but the second thing again that you don't have to game plan for a week and they're just gonna throw balls in the air and let these guys make plays on the ball Jim Knowles and Ryan they said that like that's a they can do that all week and that's what they need to work on and, and Ryan Day did say Denzel Burke or maybe it was Knowles said Denzel Burke played better last week but all the things that you're seeing and saying about them not making plays on the ball in the air they see it too like they know it but they're really going to have a chance to drill that in a way where they don't have to think game plan. They're not running, you know, Iowa's offense. I think that's potentially huge that they're going to have that skill development and it's the development they need. Yeah, they're not hiding from it. Ryan Day even said today, hey, it's no mystery that cornerback is a problem. And it has stood out a little bit like a sore thumb because the defense has been so good in almost every other facet, really. So it, that has put the spotlight on them a little bit. And normally, Doug, I would agree with you that this talk about the mental break, whatever, I would maybe roll my eyes at that a little bit. I think it might matter, though, for these cornerbacks just because of the way Jim Knowles has also talked about it. He talked about Denzel Burke and kind of how the pressure was building those first few weeks, maybe with good reason, but I, I think that just getting away from it a little bit, even for a couple days this week, could possibly be beneficial for him. We'll see over the next six weeks. More discussion about this on the Buckeye Talk podcast and get the text 614-350-3315. We'll keep them rolling right through this off week and on into next week against Iowa.